Hey guys, how are you today? Welcome to today's cre daily creative word in my creative year. I wanted to come on and do something other than just post the word for you. I thought I'd actually create a little sketching tutorial and um, show you how we're picking the words, how I'm getting inspired to use that word in a drawing, all of that jazz. And it's going to be a talking video, it's not going to be a speed through, FYI. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my daily sketchbook. This is one of Shannon Green's custom keepers. This is the, her small, I think, B6 size. Um, my notebooks are about 5 by 7 they're homemade. And so I asked her if she had a custom keeper size to fit that. She said she did. And I, I do believe this is B6. And um, then I asked her if she could make one of her new um, accessory pieces she has. I don't know what she's calling it. I'm just calling it a tool keeper, but she may have a different name for it. Um, and she said, sure, she could make one that would fit. And she did for me. And I put all of my... Um, pens and crayons that I use in my daily sketches in here. So everything's in one place. And this is really literally all I use when I do the sketches. I don't use much. Um, there's no um, number two pencils. Yeah, anyway. Um, I have found that it is nice to have a couple of clips in here to sort of hold things open as you're doing your sketching. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do actually is pull out the ballpoint pen. It's just a plain old bit crystal and my Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen and my water brush. That's always how I get started with these three. They have to be in here. I don't always use the other things, but I always use these. All right, so then we're gonna do this and clip it back open. This is the next page I need to draw on. There we go. Um, okay, so then I go to my phone and we are using this app called Inspire Me. Can you see that light bulb right there? It's called Inspire Me, one word. And it's a random word app. So when I open it, I get three random words. And I try to pick one of them to do for the daily creative word. Sometimes I don't always get a word that I can figure out anything to do with. So then I have to do it again. And I just hit random down here in the corner. Um, shadow might work. So then what I do is, we'll set this aside. Sorry about the jingly bells. And then I'm gonna go to my iPad and I'm gonna try to like do this so that you guys can kind of see, but there's not too much glare, I hope. Uh, there we go. And then I go to Pinterest and we'll do shadow. Drawing. So then I just start, you know, searching for some keywords. That's interesting. And uh, something that will inspire me to do a daily drawing. For this tutorial, I do not want to pick anything that's too hard. Although I have to tell you that, hello, is that not inspiring? I don't know who the artist is who did that. I don't know, somebody's girlfriend. Super fabulous. Um, we could do something as simple as a coffee cup with a shadow. If we do, I like the idea. Shadow is interesting. So let's do shadow illustration and see what pops up. I usually spend more time searching for inspiration than I do doing the actual drawing, just FYI. That's pretty normal. Let's see. That's cute. With a bunny doing a. That's cute. You could use Google too. I find Pinterest much more inspiring. If you don't know what Pinterest is, it's a website and app. Pinterest.com. I'll try to put a link in the description below. If you want to see what's pinned to my boards and I haven't necessarily pinned a lot of things to a lot of boards recently except for the quote one um, there's a link tree link in the description below 
and that Linktree link for me has all of the different places that I am on the internet, including Pinterest. So all of my stores and my website and my social media, everything is there. I'm not really seeing a ton of things that I'm finding inspiring. I think the most inspiring thing was that, that portrait, that um, profile. We could do that. Let's see. Um, oh, wait, it's shadow. There we go. Shadow drawing sketches. I didn't see that before. <clears throat> This one's interesting. That actually would be pretty easy to do. We could do that. So let's try something like that. I'm not always looking to copy their work exactly. Of course not. Um, I'm also not selling this. So um, there shouldn't be any copyright issues. I don't know how they did theirs. I'm going to do mine my way. Um, I'm looking to just be inspired by. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to draw a couple of hands. Hopefully. <laughs> I, yes, I used just straight with the ballpoint pen. Now, if you're unsure about your drawing abilities, of course, you can go in with um, a pencil first and then, um, you know, do some erasing. I, I don't do that. I just go right in with the pen. I'm going to zoom in a bit. All right, so I'm using their... Drawing for inspiration. Um... I am barely touching the pen to the paper. FYI, barely, barely. Now this is about suggesting the shapes rather than, you know, drawing them all exactly. And if you don't get it exactly right, this is a daily drawing book. It's not about getting it right and perfect. So I want you all to just let go of that to begin with. I'm not crazy about the hand positions in the inspiration photo, but that's okay. I'm going to change it up. Make sure I give them five fingers instead of four fingers. Because, you know, I could see me doing that. I'm going to draw a few suggestive lines. But not too many. I really want it to be really a, just a suggestion of a figure. Alright, so we're going to go in with the Pilot Varsity. Now this is also black ink. This is very water soluble and very and pretty dark. I'm gonna actually push, I'm gonna go back in with the Bic first, which is not water soluble, and I'm going to firm up some lines, make them darker. Okay, I am going to go in with this pen, and I kind of want to. Let's take a scrap piece of paper, which I keep in here, and we're going to put a bunch of ink on here. Then we're going to take our water brush, and I'm going to squeeze until it drips. There we go. And we're going to make a sort of ink. I don't know. 
I don't know how dark I want this, so it's always best to go in lighter. You can always make it darker. This would probably have been better if I had done it on something that was plastic. So let's grab an extra piece of this because I think that paper soaked up all the ink. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. And the idea is to use what you have and to, um, you know, do it in a way that you could carry very few and limited supplies with you. You could practice your art daily anywhere that you are you're only going to get better if you do practice the hand position on that is a little odd I think I think we need to First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ink. Now this ink is going to go, like with watercolor, the ink is going to go where the water is. It's not going to go to the dry paper. It's going to go to the water. So be mindful of where you put the water. This is 70 pound drawing paper. Um, which is good because you can do a certain amount of wet work on it without it bleeding through or messing up the paper too much. I am going to blot a little bit. There we go. I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. I'm going to grab my gray Bible Gel High Glider pen. Yes, they do make a gray one. Um, I found recently they make a set of 10 instead of 6. And the 10 set has gray, red, a different color of orange, and brown in it. And you know what, guys? I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm going to use this to work on our lines here and I'm using I'm, I am using the Pinterest image for inspiration on where to make the shadows darker and the Bible gel high glider is um, able to be pushed around and blended out to a certain extent um, right after you put it down I usually do this on the sofa, so I usually don't have any sort of um, dry, you know, way to dry anything. And I usually I have a piece of plastic here, and usually when I'm done, if I need to close the book up right away, I move the plastic from behind the drawing to in front of it so I can close the book and this side doesn't get all messed up. Now I am going back over over everything with the ballpoint pen, and that's going to help me with some lines, but I, it's not going to want to draw where I put the Bible gel high glider, so, and that's okay.
and messy. This kind of drawing, I really just want to keep it messy. I don't want it to be too refined or anything. I do kind of want the hands to be dark though. And then at the bottom, this is kind of a bonus day for this book, so okay. Now I know we're doing this in shadow, and I could leave it black and white, but I don't have to. And this is a purple Bible gel highlighter, and. Um, it's in the cooler side of the spectrum on the color wheel, and it will help suggest shadow. So I can add. Again, refining some lines. I'm darkening the hands some more. I'm not always super mindful about, you know, doing all the pen work before I get the crayon on there, as you can tell. <laughs> Um, the, any, none of the pens are going to want to write really well or easily over any of your crayons, whether you're using a gelato or the Bible gel high gliders or anything. So, um, just know that before you get started, it should actually probably be your, your last layer. And I know that I don't usually listen to it, but I do know that. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. There you go. So that's it. A quick and easy sketch. The daily creative word is shadow. You don't need lots of fancy tools. Use what you have and see what you can come up with. Maybe you could do a coffee cup with a shadow underneath it. You could um, collage a picture that has really interesting lighting with lots of shadow. Um, you could write about what the word shadow means um, to you in the moment. There's lots of different ways you can take it or you could just choose to not do the word shadow. Maybe it's not inspiring to you at all today and that's totally fine. Um, whatever you do, I would love to see it over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year. And uh, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thank you.